Hey guys, Leap from Galaxy Reviews here with yet another video. As promised, today we have a pretty cool unboxing. We're actually gonna go ahead and unbox the new Kingdom Hearts 3 Sora version 2 figure from Brain Arts. Uh, this is pretty cool. I usually don't have any like action figures per se, or at least I haven't bought any in a long time. So I'm pretty excited to review this Sora figure because um, I know it looks pretty awesome just looking at it right out of the box. Huge Kingdom Hearts fan, so I'm pretty excited to finally get one of these. I'm, I don't currently have any Kingdom Hearts figures. I do have a bunch of Funko Pops, uh, but I just never got around to um, purchasing any like actual figures. So I'm pretty excited about this one because uh, I know it just looks awesome just from the get-go. But before we get into that, as always, let's go ahead and discuss the actual box. Again, apologies guys, uh, the camera is a little bit more <laughs> closed up than usual. Still waiting for my stuff to arrive, so gotta make do. Um, anyway, uh, getting on with the unboxing. So here we have the box, you know, pretty standard, nothing too fancy. On the sides here we have the usual Kingdom Hearts design. Usually you, you may have seen this on like special editions and stuff like that. They usually include this design quite a bit. On the back we have a few photos of the figure in various scenarios of course. Looks pretty cool. And then of course it was imported so most of the text is in Japanese. Um, as, you, as always I bought this figure from Amiami. They always have these figures in stock really really well so i really like pre-ordering through them haven't had any issues whatsoever so thumbs up for for them all right that being said let's go ahead and open him up he did have a little bit of tape back here i went ahead and cut that in advance as always all right and here we have him all right, let me see if there's any additional tape. Nope, looks good. And let's go ahead and remove this plastic covering. All right, all right, so this is actually pretty cool. So I didn't notice he has a stand, so that's awesome, because I was actually getting kind of worried about how I was gonna stand up the figure. Uh, but he has these different joints and stuff, and arms that'll hold him in place. So that's actually really cool. I'll actually put this to the side for now. All right, so here we have Sora. He includes the Starlight Keyblade as well as the Nano Gear Keyblade from Kingdom Hearts 3. Then we have two different heads. Oops, seems like lost the phone here. <laughs> two different heads and a few different hands, including the Gummy Phone one, which I found interesting. Seems like the Gummy Phone is gonna place on there. Not sure how he would actually hold it. I'll mess around with that a little bit later. But other than that, looks really good. Uh, let's go ahead and remove Sora from here. All right, let's take a look at that. I would say he looks really nicely detailed. Quick close up here. Let's take a look at the back. Quite kind of funny, he actually looks really similar to what he would look like in the Toy Story world, which I think is really awesome. <laughs> All right, other than that, he feels he's really lightweight, nothing like some of the other collector's figures, but of course you guys who collect action figures may have known this already. And I'm actually kind of worried. He does feel a little bit fragile, so I'm um, kind of scared to <laughs> replace his head and everything. Uh, don't want to break him, but we got to do it. We got to try it out. All right, so I'll just place him here on the side for now. Let's take a look at the Keyblades. So here we have the Nano Gear. There we go, thank you camera. That looks really nice. And the keychain is uh, movable. So it's nice and loose, and I'll have to worry about hopefully breaking that. Very nice. Let's take a look at Starlight. Same thing. Keychain is movable, although the chain links are solid, so be careful with that. And actually, same thing with Nano Gear. Uh, I kind of like this one, right? It looks really close to the classic Keyblade. So it's a nice blue color. And of course the star design up top, but really nice. Then let's take a look at the other heads. So really similar, this one is just smiling. There we go. Hair is nicely detailed, like incredibly detailed, which I like. 
All right, so that's what that looks like towards the bottom. Hmm. I don't know. I don't want to break it, so we'll see. I'll leave that alone. <laughs> We're gonna mess with that a little bit later, and then let's take a look at the other head with the goggles. All right, so here we have him with his actual San Fran Tokyo look. With the goggles and headpiece and all that. Looks really nice. Sort of a little bit more serious in this one. And then uh, same positioning for the head there. We're gonna see how that works out. Hopefully without breaking it. Then we have the hands. Here's the gummy phone. Nothing on the back that makes it stick to the hands, so that's from kind of Interested to see how you would actually hold this without it falling off if you were to place them anywhere. Oh, nice. And then there's this little base that holds all the hands, so that's really nice. Don't have to worry about having them all loose and whatnot. So let's see how you would actually hold the gummy phone. So, gummy phone came in this hand originally. Ah, it's not too bad, actually. So, seems you can kind of place it in there. And unless you really move the figure around or anything, it shouldn't fall off. Seems to hold that pretty, pretty well, as you can see. Cool. All right, that being said, let's go ahead and check out the bases, or the base pieces, I should say. <laughs> Just one base. Okay, so it has a little plastic cover. Remove that. And then let's take a look at the pieces here. So here we have the actual base. There we go. Looks really close to some of the other figures I've unboxed, like the Persona 5 uh, Pop-Up Parade base. So pretty simple, yet effective, hopefully. We'll see how that works out. And then let's remove some of the arm pieces here. Hmm. Because it's really stuck on here. There we go. So here's one of the first ones. Gotta be really careful. There's really no way that I can see to remove this easily. There we go. There's the arm. And then here's the other claw. Hmm. It's really stuck on here. Um, I get what they were going for, but it does make me worry that I don't want to break this or anything like that. Give me a quick second, I'll be right back. I'm going to try to remove this without breaking it. Alright, so here we go. Finally was able to remove it. I would say it was no easy feat. I was really worried about breaking it. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and try to put Sora and see how that works out. All right guys, so here we have all the pieces that are included within the set. So like, min like I mentioned, let's go ahead and try to place Sora here on his base. I also went ahead and prepared in advance a few of the, well, both Keyblades, because I do want to have him holding two Keyblades for how I'm gonna position him on display. So let's see, I think let's go ahead and place them on the base first. So here's the first piece I'm gonna go ahead and use. Actually, no, hold up. Let's go ahead and prepare him, repair it with the claw here. Cool, so that's the first part. And then the second piece goes in the actual base. And then of course this one would just be a spare, so we'll just put this to the side here. And then just based on what I was able to see, the claw should then hold Sora in place via his waist, if I'm not mistaken. Then we just close that up. And then it seems like that should be it. And then almost kind of seems like Sora's in a T-pose here. <laughs> And then he's good to go. All right, relatively simple. Hmm, interesting. Seems like Sora may be a little too heavy, depending on how you want to place him. But I mean, it should be fine as long as 
He has some support near the base. I think the arm should be able to hold him just fine. All right, so let's go ahead then and replace his hand. Let's see how hard this is gonna be. There we go. Relatively simple, yet pretty scary. And then let's replace it with this one, holding the keyblade. All right, looking good so far. Let's replace his right hand. There we go. I feel like moving it side to side is definitely the easiest way. Hopefully not breaking the little peg. And then let's replace it with a new arm. And boom, fell right into place really easily. All right, looking good so far. Now I wanna see if we can replace this head with the goggle version. Okay, so that one's actually much easier to remove. And then let's set this up and then install that in the neck. Cool, I think that's it. Doesn't seem like there's much else to it. Don't wanna break them, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. All right, so there we go. So there we have Sora all set up. Not too bad. Now let's try something a little bit more creative. Let's see if we can imitate one of the positions in the artwork on the box. So let's see, we should be able to fold his knee, lift it up slightly, tilt his head. Seems like we can't really angle his shoe too much, his ankle too much. So I'm gonna use his right foot as the base oh, for support. Hmm. That's going to be a little bit more complicated than expected. Like I said, the arm doesn't really seem to hold too much weight, but it seems to be kind of doing the job relatively well. Let's lift this arm up. Seems that's as high as it can go without breaking, which I'm obviously not gonna do. <laughs> and then let's position this arm slightly bent a bit. Okay, so I'm a little disappointed with the arm. Seems to fall back really easily. Doesn't seem to hold him in position that well. But as long as you don't touch it, I think it should be fine. Let's zoom in a bit. All right, I think that looks really nice. Obviously, I don't want to bring him over to the camera because he just isn't gonna hold the position really well if I lift him up myself. So I just wanna kinda leave him there. Maybe I'll do like a few close-up shots here with the camera. But overall, came out really nice. All right guys, so that's it. That's the uh, Play Arts Sora figure by Square Enix. Now, I will go ahead and say that I'm pretty pleased with it. A few cons, as you can see, he keeps moving. That's definitely a, a con that I don't like. He keeps moving to the side while we'll kind of like him to stay, you know, in the center. And there's really not much else to it. I mean, there's really nowhere else to put the arm unless I'm doing something wrong. There are no instructions or anything like that, so actually hold up. No, yeah, never mind. The instructions don't really go into much detail regarding how to uh, place him on here. So if I am placing him incorrectly, guys, please let me know. But um, yeah, there's really not much else to it. Yep, keeps moving. That's the only con I'm going to go ahead <laughs> and uh, mention here. Other than that, I believe he's a great figure. If you want to go ahead and purchase him, I think he'll be a good addition to your collection, as I always say. So I'm going to go ahead and give him a thumbs up. 
I uh, definitely recommend them. Really is a great, uh, great collector's piece if you're a Kingdom Hearts fan. Other than that, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below before Sora falls all the way here. <laughs> let me know what you guys think. And please remember to like and subscribe. Until next time, guys, see you later.